We've seen protesters block freeways and streets many times when they're out protesting, trying to get their uh, their agenda or a particular thing out there and some attention to it. This one actually has a story behind it that maybe you don't always hear. That one man in the striped shirt there that's snatching signs from these climate protesters in Maryland is apparently uh, on parole and he needs to get to his job or else he violates said parole and then goes to jail. I think that's a story that, or at least a, a background that people can um, <laughs> To have some sympathy towards. Uh, so, but they stayed sitting there. He's getting the fights and arguing with them. And there's details on this that actually end up being even more sad for this guy. So, there's one went down. The Maryland State Police, they arrested 14 climate protesters on Monday after they shut down this highway in DC. That's uh, in the DC area. That's amid the 4th of July traffic, making it even worse. MSP and Montgomery County Police responded to the scene around 1230 on Monday and found several protesters sitting on the ground on the inner loop of the I-495 in Montgomery County. And of course, they were blocking traffic. Um, so that group was uh, was out protesting, and they were urging Biden to declare a climate emergency. And they aim to urge him to declare this, and that's according to their website. We have to get in people's way, is what Paul Severance, who's an organizer with them, told the Bethesda Beat. That's the only way to make change. So. As it comes from the outcome from this with the guy on parole, this is where the more sad news, at least for me, comes. I'm not sure if this was in direct violation, but this is what happened to this guy. The man that was fighting with them, caught on video, TJ Jones, um, he worked uh, for the company News to Share, that's who recorded this, explained that he's on parole and would be reincarcerated if he was late for work. The clip shows him getting increasingly desperate and confrontational. Here's the bad part. He was eventually arrested by Maryland state troopers. I'm not sure if it's because he was fighting with them and snatching signs and all that, or if he was arrested later because he didn't make his job. We never found out exactly. But this is one of those things, Dan, and it happens in so many protests. Hey, let's block the freeway, hey, let's block off the streets. There's so many people, and I get the point. You're looking for the attention around the thing that you're protesting, around your principles and what you want to bring more attention to. But what's the next step? Who does this help? Does it get you anywhere? Um, and I hadn't really said it before, and I thought, I was like, eh, I wish we had a better way. But maybe there isn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong.